we're moving now into the filters and there are a ton of filters here, a whole gazillion filters in here. Let's first look at just working with filters in general. First off, at the very top you have a couple of options here. Last filter. This means that if I use a filter down here, for instance, use the cutout filter. I'll choose OK. So if I apply that filter and then I go to a different file, such as this one, and let's bring our layers back up. Let's hide that. If I go here and go back up to filter, notice that the last filter I used is displayed up there at the top of that list. That's what that option is. The filter gallery is an easy way to use a lot of the filters out of here. It doesn't show you everything, but it shows you a lot of the filters that are in here. We'll be playing with that as we go along using our filters. As they come up in the filter gallery, I'll be showing you that filter gallery. And then simply to use your filters, select your filter and then apply the filter. Now, looking at our filters in here, we can find one here. This is a good example. Some of these filters have three dots after the name. That means that it's going to be opening up a dialog box and you'll have some adif additional options. Some of these filters are very old filters and will have very basic dialog boxes. If they are in the filter gallery, they'll have far more advanced dialog boxes. You can do a lot more with them. Some of these filters don't have anything. Facet and Fragment, for instance, there's nothing on these. This will simply be applied to your picture in one second and it's done. Only option you have there is to undo or redo that particular filter. Okay, so that's a look then at just a you know kind of a basic look here at our filters. Let's now move in and begin taking a look at these different filters and how to use them. Starting off with that camera di distortion here in the next video. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.